we've been investigating PCOS and have had one of these grants now for the past 10 years and with a goal to really understanding why what this disorder is. We've known about it since the 1930s. We've known lots of things about it like this is wrong or that is wrong. So we focused on particularly adolescent girls and prepubertal girls having shown in adults that male hormone could affect the way the hypothalamus works. And so what we We've shown that and now focus more on what goes wrong initially, of course with a view to hopefully preventing it from going wrong at, at a stage when, 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 when girls perhaps are amenable to intervention before this has become well established and this is probably going to be somewhere around the puberty time. So the next question is where does the male hormone come from in an early pubertal girl? And we've been able to show that this may be related to the recent epidemics of obesity. As you probably know, the current figures from NIH show that almost one in five girls between the ages of six and 19 are obese. And we've already been able to make some inroads to show that certainly the signals coming from the brain and the pituitary are abnormal in girls who have too much androgen. What we have to prove is that that is really due to the androgen and that if we block that, that we can put it back to normal. So the first sort of year or two will be to basically test that thesis. If we can show that, then the next steps will be what is the best way, aside from the obvious of preventing weight gain, of reducing or preventing the increase in male hormone.